the dead comes out, shatters all the records. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a great thing that um, our fans were that eager to hear what we were going to put out. Yeah. But I think mainly, you know, even after that first week, we were still asking our fans, well, what do you think of the album? Do you like this? Do you like that? And still getting their feedback because that's what's really important to us is that our fans like what, you know, what we did. And obviously, you know, um, they're happy with what we did and that makes us happy. What's your favorite Ed Clink song? Bye bye. What's your favorite dancing song? It's, me, uh, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Oh, yeah. I love that song. I think numbers are, are kind of a, you know, yeah, they're, they're, I don't think they mean as much as, as the comments that you get from your fans and the letters and, and the emails and stuff that say, I really love your, your, your music and I love what you did with the new album. God bless them, they're the best fans in the world. They, you know, they, they come to all the shows and they, they, they're waiting for the album to come out and now it's out. So, I mean, I just hope that when they hear it, they get something different out of it that they got from the first one and that they, they hear what we try to do and that they actually enjoy it. So you saw NSYNC last year? Yeah. yeah. How does it compare last year's show uh, with this year? I think this year is better. Oh yeah, why? Um, the loud music and like the, the fireworks and the lights and okay. I don't know, it's just all added up. So they developed the show more this year, yeah. you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's phenomenal. It's better than last year. How come? There's more lasers and more lights and there's fire and there's everything. It's just great. <laughs> We have the best fans in the world. Honestly, we tried to do as much as we could to keep stuff out there for them uh, with the duets that we did with Gloria Estefan. And we did a song on the Light It Up soundtrack with Babyface, as well as uh, you know, we did a little song on Pokemon. So we tried to stay out there with, with little things until we could literally have time to finish this album. And that's why we also stayed on tour pretty much the whole year. Who's your favorite NSYNC guy? as much as we can and and um we try to you know do meet and greets we do meet and greets before every show Justin! Justin! i'm noticing that the <laughs> the sex and the race and the age is totally broadened oh, yeah? like dramatically album, yeah. yes dramatically and um that's also a good feeling too to know that your music is reaching other different uh types of uh, creative people you like that dance move? or the fans, I guess, the young fans, short attention span, a concern at all for you guys, and getting stuff out, and we just... We have like seven singles we can release off this album yeah. now and keep our fans happy, but, you know, uh, we just want to, yeah, we just want to give them new stuff. We want to get our creative year. minds going too as well. I mean, we don't want to keep touring with the same songs over and over and over again. I mean, of course, we'll do like the hits and stuff, but we do our tour, but we, we have, we're so creative all together, individually and, to, you know, collectively, together, together. Together. That, that I, you know, we want to do more things as far as doing the movie, doing uh, you know a new you know album, and even maybe doing some stuff on the soundtrack for the movie. So we're we're mm. all with ideas and doing videos. So we're all creative. Here's a secret cherry on my heart. <laughs> <laughs> 